Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial brought to you by taylorstutorials.com. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to create a text-based view counter that you can put on your website for any of your videos uh, or any of your pages. Here's an example of what it's going to look like. So I just have a video right here that it has the view count right here and a text in a nice text a text form, just like it would be on YouTube or uh, you know, Vimeo or some other site that, that displays views, the view count. So very, very nice, a very good addition to your website. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, first thing we want to do is go to a website called stackcounter.com. It'll be found, you can find that in the, script, in the description. Uh, you want to become a member, just go to sign up and just create an account. It's really easy. Um, I'm already a member, so I'm just going to sign in. And what we're going to do from here is create a new project. And basically what a project is, is it'll, it, it's basically one view counter per one view counter that you can put on a site. Um, and it, so as you see, I have all these different projects that each one is a different, like acts on a different site. Um, so this one's for one site, this one's for another site. And that's basically how it works. So what we want to do is just hit add project. And for a project URL, just type where you want the view counter to be on your website. So I'm just going to do um, sorry. Um, our project title will just be whatever you, you can put whatever you want. Um, try to make it something simple and related to the page, the actual uh, page name of your website of, of that page. So I think mine was activate or activation. And then for project group, uh, it's basically just grouping them into categories. So if you have different categories of tutorials, like I have, um, you know, Sony Vegas, Photoshop. Uh, Dreamweaver stuff like that. Just you can put them into certain categories. So I'm just going to put this in uh, SFOT for sports fan other tutorials. Just going to make a new group, and then what we want to do is just make sure it's a visual counter. Don't worry about the stack counter, visible tracking. Just make sure it's a visual counter, and just for email reports, it'll email you reports on how many views you have on that counter. Um, so if you want that monthly or daily or none, you can just choose what you, what you want. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll just do none. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is go back to, your, to our projects. And you'll see that we'll have a new category called SFOT, the uh, category that we, we chose and we created. And under there, it'll have a have a project called activation. Let's we'll just click on that, and go to config. It should be at the left top left hand corner. Uh, just before I go over this, you can actually view um, the stats of of that of the certain particular project. You can see the number of page views, unique visits, uh, first time visits, re returning visits, and such. And for you know over a long period of time, so it's really it's really nice to you know track your. It's like an analytics version uh, of you know of for your website, so it's very cool. So we're just gonna want to go to config and go to customize counter, and then this will allow us to customize the counter that we have. Um, it should be set on graphical counter with just like this picture, and we don't want that. Uh, what we want what we want to do is check text counter, and it should pop up with this. You can also add a starting count, and starting number of how much you want on the website. It's like, so let's say you have a video on YouTube that has a certain amount of views and you want that to be displayed on your website as well. You can just put the amount of views that are in it. And that's what I've done here. Once, you, once you've done that, just you can hit apply changes. You can mess around with the other effects, but I just leave it as that. And then what you want to do, it should pop up with a display button right here. Just go to reinstall your stack counter. And then what you want to do is just copy this code right here. Now open up Dreamweaver and find the page that you want the video or the view counter to be displayed. Um, I have it in this nice div that's already been created, um, and I'm just going to replace the code that I already have. So it, 
as you see, it has, um, I already had a code, I can just replace this right here. But it's just, it's right wherever you want it. it just place it where you, where you want it, and it'll put it exactly there. As you see, we have our code right here. And then all we have to do is just for the design, you see it's displayed right here. Um, if we save that and then preview it. As you see, we have a nice view counter of 341,000 right here. And that's just perfectly put right here. And, and then every time we refresh the page, it adds a view. And I think this is probably the best way to display views on your website. I know there's other little, you know, HTML add-ons you can put in, you know, like little picture ones. But I never like that. I just like the basic text. And I hope you guys like it too. So... That's basically it. This is just a small tutorial. I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be posting a bigger one tomorrow um, on how to get a nice uh, HTML5 player like this. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of like an like a, an, an addition to this. This is just a small little tutorial. So anyway, stay tuned for that tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, check out you know TaylorTutorials.com. It's Basically, I have all my video. I will be uploading all my videos. As you see, I am up the updating the links uh, constantly. I'm trying to, um, but yeah, I've I've uploaded many videos so far. Um, but my main focus is for you guys right now is to go on the forum. I really want to register some members on here and just have some discussion. I really want to try to you know if you have any questions, any tutorial requests, or any any comments in general please just post them here. I would love to have you guys register. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, please <laughs> check this out. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.